All right, welcome to the Hammerhead Rhythm Station tutorial. Uh, Hammerhead uh, free PC drum machine, originally released in 1997 by Brahm Bach. It's always been free. It's a pretty cool little unit. Uh, people use it for all sorts of different things. Uh, we're going to try to cover pretty much all of its functionality. So let's get started here. Uh, first thing we might need to do is talk about uh, where you can go ahead and download this if you haven't got it already. Or if you need some support, go to threechords.com. Not only do they have the program, they also have a bunch of other cool, old free music programs. They also uh, have a big user base where people upload stuff that they've done with the program. And uh, manuals, pretty much anything you're going to need for uh, Hammerhead will be available at threechords.com. All right, very good. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at a uh, bar across the middle, which is your timeline. And each one of these represents a beat, with these gold ones representing the on beat. So if you're going to count on it, it'd be a one, E, and, a, uh, two, E, and, a. Uh, okay. Um, so whatever ones are selected, will play whatever channel that is. So we have channel one selected. So we see it as a bunch of beats selected, and we don't hear anything, of course, because we're not playing anything yet. This here is the play button. It also functions as the stop button. Awesome. Oh, and now we can hear the bass. Directly below the channel monitor is the drop-down menu where you can change what below that is a slider that controls just that channel. The volume slider also has a couple other functions. It has a reverse button. It has a distortion button. And it has a mute button. Okay? While it's playing here, channel 2, I've also pasted in already a couple hits. Selected snare. I unmute it. on a hi-hat rings out. If you put a case of muted hi-hats or pedaled hi-hats right behind it, it'll choke them out. Unfortunately, if you select, say, a acoustic closed hi-hat, it does not. The 909 continues to ring out. It has to be of the same type of hi-hat in order to mute it out. You need to be closed or pedal. we're looking for. Uh, below the hi-hats, you have a selection of preloaded uh, break beats. Funky drummer selected here. It may sound familiar to people. I pasted it at the beginning here. Turn everything else off. And turn this off. Sound familiar? Now, I've got pasted at the beginning of the first measure. If I were to paste it, Stay right here at the beginning of the second beat, we can cut off where it was playing and start over. Like that. All right, very good. And lastly, on channel three, I selected below the beats. There's the user beat, or uh, it can be uh, break beats. Sounds, it can be drum hits, whatever you want. Okay. okay, up above here we have a slider for tempo. Also have a, uh, I can't really see it very well, have a shuffle. Here, the distortion one. 
how much the distortion is going to go, and also how much beat. That's a distortion for a snare. Is it all blown out? If you give it a bunch of feedback to the channel, you can turn on that. So we're not feeding so much into that effects channel. Or you can turn down the distortion. Okay? Alright, very good. The other thing you can see on my screen, unfortunately, is labels. One of these is the current. quiet because we have to paste it in and mix into the second measure. In order to do that, with having measure one selected, go to the edit, copy measure, all six channels, we then go to measure two and go paste. We now have two measures of the same thing. We can ed edit these individually now. Okay, the next thing we're going to look at is, say we just wanted to import just one channel, this third measure. We now have an empty third measure. Say I just wanted to import the open eye after channel 3, select it, edit, copy measure, just the active channel. So it's only going to copy this one channel. We then go to the next, we can cut it, paste it into the open hi-hat. Edit, paste. And we have all the same hits on the open hi-hat. Also paste in that same hit pattern in the snare drum. It doesn't really matter where you paste it into. Now on the third measure, the snare drum and the open hi hat will play at the same time. Select these now. We take the hits off that. Let's say on the fourth channel, uh, I'm messing around with them. And adding some open hi hat. Let's say I also want to, I want to keep these ones I've added, but I also want to uh, cut and paste the ones from the previous measure. So we go back to measure two, select the channel, edit, copy only the active channel, we go to measure four, and we already have these ones pasted in there. So I want to also have these. You do a paste mix, and it'll paste the ones from the layer before and the ones that I've already drawn. Excellent. Probably cover some of the drop down menus here. The activate drop down menu will allow you to change channels rather than clicking on the buttons. So it's the same thing. Also, have a 486 performance if your computer can't handle those high 1997 performance standards. Clear pattern. So stay away from that one, that'll clear everything that you've written in. We've covered the cut and paste. I think the new track, open track, save track, is pretty uh, self-explanatory. But the save track, I mean the stream to disk track, let's look at this. Okay, let's say we like our three measure beat. It's pretty awesome. We can either save it as a WAV file or a raw data stream. And you can do stream types. You can do a whole session. And if, we, if I were to select that and hit OK, it would be waiting for me to hit the start button or the play button. As soon as I hit the play button, it would record whatever happened. It would be like a live performance. I could change beats up halfway. It would record until I hit the play button again. It's sort of a performance type thing as if it were in, uh, say, Rebirth or something. Uh, the current measure, it would record a wave or raw file just as the current measure or all measures. So let's record all measures as a wave file so we could cut and paste it into an audio editing program. Okay, I'll ask this for a name. Let's call it T U T O R. 
tutor. All right, we'll hit the save button. Boom. Now let's go ahead and uh, let's open that program. Opens it up. All right, now it's probably time to get on with the uh, Hammerhead user bank. Let's go ahead and take this beat that we just recorded. Let's bring it back to just the first measure. And let's uh, use this as a breakbeat. So let's go to stream to disk. We want it as a raw because uh, that's the Hammerhead user bank creator only takes raw files. Only mono also. So we just want the current measure. Hit OK. We're going to call it, uh, what are we going to call it? Tutorial break dot raw. Save. I've already got something created that. We're going to write over the top of it. OK, now we're going to create our own user bank. We're going to open up our files and we're going to look for the raw file called tutorial user break. Put us in this now. Dot raw. Boom. Open it up. Click the speaker button and listen to it. That's the one. We're going to click stretch to measure because we wanted to stretch the beat so it covers the entire measure no matter what speed we're playing it at. Now these user banks you can also uh, upload other sounds. Some people are going to want to do uh, sounds that they edit them themselves. This is what Edit in some ones that I did myself. Uh, use this one, open that. Use this one, and then let's open this. Okay, we can listen to them. We want those to stretch the whole measure. You can also do one hit. Say you want to import your own drum sound. So I've gone ahead and. Uh, some drum sounds. Here's a snare sound. Got a snare sound at number four. Got a tinny. We're also got a kick sound that I've in here. Kick sound. There we go. Let's put that at number five. All right, very good. Those ones we don't want to have stretched to the whole length of it. We're going to save this. This will save as an HUB, Hammerhead User Bank. Let's call this one uh, tutorial. T U T A R. Stretch that. Save. Okay. Now we go to the sample user banks and we load the user bank tutorial. Okay. Open. Now this user sound number three is going to be whatever we just loaded number three. I forget already. Okay. That's the beat we just made. Sounds good. Channel two, put user bank number two, which I imported. Set up some music there. Okay, I'm going to unmute the channel. Schoolhouse rock. Okay, all the things. You can load up any sound you want, save them here as an HUB. Just remember that it, these things that you have stretched to last the whole measure, as you 
change the tempo, that will change the tone. All right, very good. Good luck with this as usual. If, uh, if you create anything fun with this, please uh, post the video copy of uh, anything you make with Hammerhead, or uh, if you're embarrassed, just go ahead and send me an email. All right, thank you very much. Thanks for watching.